Hello? What happened? Okay, okay, sure. One second. Are you still there? Oh, she's closing my mouth. Are you still there? Okay, can, can you hear me? Does that work? Uh, does that microphone work? Okay, I put in my professional microphone. Uh, I forgot about that, but that's fine. Um, okay, I'll get started. Oh, my video. Sorry about that, my video. Um, I accidentally plugged, plugged, out, pulled, pulled the plug on my monitor cable. But okay, let me get started. Um, one second. Let me just put this right here. Hi everybody, this is another episode of Tech Talk with Mansoor Ahmad, MSACC. And if you didn't know, that's a Master's of Science in Accountancy. Um, I have with me uh, Maria Tolkacheva. Um, she works at CHI Software. Um, she works as the VP of Business Developments. And um, I'm going to, you know, ask her a few questions about what she does, uh, about herself, some recommendations, and um, I'll go ahead and turn it over to her. So, Maria, can you tell everyone about yourself and what you do? Yes, sure. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for the invitation. Uh, I will tell you several words about uh, myself. Um, so, um, I am... Um, uh, 30 years too um, old. I have a son. Um, before the war, I lived in Ukraine in Kharkiv. And now I have relocated to Italy and he uh, lives here with my son. Um, so what I do? I uh, am responsible for business development at my company. Uh, my main um, task, I'm responsible for uh, searching for new clients, for new uh, contracts, projects. Um, so it's my main task. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, um, all right, it's good that uh, she's, she's a family person. So <laughs> Marie is a family person. <laughs> so that's good. Um, can you tell us, um, I, I know you're you know, more on the sourcing side uh, for sales and obtaining new clientele. Um, could you maybe like dive into like the, you know, the role of maybe um, a software development consultant? Uh, what, what does someone who works in software development consulting do? And maybe also you can go into like lead generation and what does someone who is responsible for business development uh, do as well? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay. Um, so actually, what uh, software I do? Uh, we provide software development. It means that we created mobile applications. We, we created uh, web applications, different CRM systems. Um, um, so absolutely different things. And actually, uh, everyone face uh, software everywhere. When you, I don't know, open your laptop, uh, when you take your uh, iPhone. Uh, so all these applications created actually by our companies. Um, where, if we're talking about where I generated the leads, for example, um, I uh, traveled a lot. I attended different conferences. Um, I um, communicated a lot with uh, people also who are working in my field. And not only um, with the people who are working in IT field, but also with the, uh, other business domains such as healthcare, insure tech, fintech. Um, so I'm generating the leads, uh, generating my contracts uh, just uh, via communication. Uh, the more I communicate, the more contracts I have. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, so that's something um, I, I haven't been very successful at, like in in my past uh, accounting practice. Um, I, I what I what I would do would be like um, instead of me like going out and finding leads, I would just direct the leads to me through um, PPC. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so like um, like how how do you guys do it? You know, um, do you use like both like you know like ads uh lead generation or do you do you also like cold call and, and other things as well uh we are using linkedin we're using uh, um marketing actually uh for these purposes uh, we don't uh, work with uh, cold calls we actually have such practice but uh, i think Mm, it's not so effective now like it was before because people, you know, um, communicate too much and they don't like just when somebody called them and started to suggest or propose something. Uh, so uh, mainly it's um, uh, Twitter, it's um, LinkedIn uh, and um, oh, of course our website generated a lot of uh, hot leads and uh, it's face-to-face uh, -face meetings um, references and um, yes the references actually it's one of the main channels uh, how we uh, get new clients because the reputation is the most important thing for us and when our existing client can you know uh, advise us to his friend or I don't know to his colleague, and uh, you lead come to us. He already knows that we managed to deliver successful product on the market. Um, so we have already like you know trustworthy reputation, and um, I can highlight three main um, channels. It's references when. People who already worked with us advise us. Uh, the second, it's uh, LinkedIn marketing, uh, and the third one, it's uh, references. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, would say, I would say like the references, the references and um, you, know, you know word of mouth referrals, referrals are probably the best ones. Um, yeah. Uh, because uh, because uh, those people already understand like you know your work and your worth. And um, they trust you a lot more than just someone you have to like um, convert, like all of a sudden. Uh, and they probably fit your structure and your culture, uh, just like your existing um, clientele that referred them in the first place. So um, that's yeah, that's that's always the best when you get like free leads. <laughs> Yes, yes, definitely. And uh, what is uh, also uh, important that if a uh, client uh, come to us um, on a reference basis, in such case, we close the contract uh, pretty fast, actually, within, let's say, a month. So he's already re he's ready to work with us. Uh, but if uh, we have some lead, let's say, from conference, I just beginning of communication, you know, we look at uh, each other, see 
uh, if we sued. Uh, so usually it will take several months. So it's also important. Yeah. 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 Thank you for, yeah, thank you for pointing that out. That's very helpful. <laughs> you know, <laughs> especially when you have to start from scratch. <laughs> um, so now I want to go into the next question. Um, how did you start and get your foot in the door in the beginning? Um, what did you do? Like, it, probably like I'm not sure where 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 you you know began. So please tell us. <laughs> well, uh, after the maternity leave, I was uh, looking for a job, and uh, I found uh, announcement that there is uh, there was a need for assistant uh, for uh, one of IT uh, companies. Uh, so at that moment, I uh, didn't understand what is IT. I just need to work. So I came, um, I passed successfully the interview. It just, you know, was the checking of my uh, soft skill. Um, if I suit the team, how I will work with the rest of the guys who already uh, working at that company. Uh, so my first task was, um, I know, assisting with organizing uh, the meetings, um, some preparing meeting notes and uh, preparing business trips. So it was just some operational work. But then my boss in a month or two suggested me to try uh, myself as a sales manager. At that moment, the company um, for searching the projects uh, uh, used uh, Upwork. It was and it is uh, such a freelance platform. Uh, so, and it was actually a great opportunity to start because uh, this platform is uh, very easy to use. You just, you know, put some keywords and uh, um, uh, some relevant uh, projects or tasks appeared for you. Uh, so, and actually Upwork allowed me to um, study uh, all the technologies, uh, you know, to understand better what is going around me. Because at that moment, uh, it seemed to me that the team was uh, was speaking on some secret language, <laughs> <laughs> so many unknown words. Uh, yeah, so uh, it was difficult to start, uh, but uh, I really had great opportunity and my team and my boss they helped me a lot they explained me a lot of things and when i didn't understand something uh, they always explained me and support me yeah yeah i've noticed the same thing now um coming from the business unit and working into like a full it department uh coming from a finance and accounting background sometimes i say things like um uh yeah i made a you know you can refer to this procedure and then and then, and then my, my boss is like wait policies and procedures no 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 stored procedure <laughs> so, so i'm like what do i have to spell it out <laughs> you know but yeah that's great um Thank you for sharing that about yourself. Um, uh, can you tell us, like, um, what do you recommend for someone who wants to get involved in the same role or position? Um, well, yes, I have some recommendations. Uh, so, so first of all, you uh, should be uh, stress uh, resistant because not always everything goes smoothly. Uh, and uh, I think that one of the um, uh, important things is to be easy going, always you know calm, um, and not to stress too much. Uh, the second, uh, maybe um, what I would tell it's uh, you have. Um, you should be ready uh, to work 24 per 7 because um, sales management managers, uh, business uh, development executives, uh, they um, should be in touch, they should be always online. Uh, we work with different time zones with the United States, with the Europe. Uh, you always um, need uh, to be online. So, and uh, you should communicate and respond to your client immediately 
as soon as you get a mail, you have to respond it. Um, the quicker you are, the better you are, actually. I, and I appreciate you coming on at 8 a.m. in Italy um, so that, like, I can, like, not be up in the middle of the night, you know, at another time. Um, so I can see that, you know, you are very, like, you know, punctual and timely and, um, you know, um, very, um, yeah, very flexible. So, yeah, I think that's very important. What, what I would say to my uh, my listeners is, uh, yeah, stress resistance is very important. Uh, when I was in my first semester of my master's program while working full time, um, I was going to be on academic probation that first semester. After that semester would be over, I would be on academic probation. I would that would be because I got one C in one of my classes and a B in the other. Um, coming into the finals week, I was like, "There's no way I'm going to get a B now and not be on academic probation." And I, I remember being in bed that one night. Um, uh, I was thinking about it, like, why did I come into a master's program if uh, I can't even pass a class? And um, I was saying, like, you know, like, this is so, I, I was, I was, I was just, like, very stressed out. But, you know, I stuck with it, I committed, and then I still got my degree, you know, it's, it's just like a, you know, self-accomplishment, you know, for my own goal. So I think for people that, like, either work in some sort of executive uh, role or, um, Maybe just people that have a lot of things to do, you know, in their life. Um, stress resistance is important in any circumstance. And I, th I think you can like even build it at, at some, uh, you know, putting yourself in like uh, water without being able, being able to swim. And just little, you know, times like that. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to go into the next question. Um, you know, um, I think we already went into it. You know, I, I kind of took took a little part of it. Uh, what is your best advice for someone starting out um, who works in software development? This is like a tip or trick, I would say. Like, what is the, the secret? Um, okay, so um, the best advice may be to study as much as possible uh, because everything is changing uh, very quickly communicate as much as possible because I think that um, if you're working in IT field here you have um, you have to have actually a soft skill and you have to uh, have hard skills and it should be you know 50 50 because you can be amazing specialist actually but if you um, don't know how communicate with other people how explain them you know the problems the issues you face during your work um it can be really an issue um yeah yeah i would say, yeah, I would say like communication is very key um so yeah it, it took me a while i i couldn't communicate you know myself in the beginning um, but yeah, I think I think that's very important. Uh, yeah, and actually, uh, you know, uh, previously when a lot of not a lot of but all the people, the specialists, they work in, in the office, let's say, yeah, and they uh, have opportunity to talk face to face. I don't know when you just drink a coffee at the kitchen or something like that. Uh, you will have you had offline meetings uh, when everybody like uh, was uh, sitting around the table. Everything was uh, much more easier. But then because of um, COVID. Um, yeah everybody went online and uh, uh, then when we switch to zoom to teams to different applications um, we had to uh, study how to work in new way and uh, this was actually a trick and uh, to um it gave us the opportunity to work from i don't know any place from all over the world but uh, at uh, at the same time uh, we um, missed a lot of uh, personal communication a lot of um, things which you can i you know uh, discuss uh, uh, offline, in uh, and it was much more effective, actually. Yeah, in person, uh, there's in-person communication lacking. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I would say there was there has been a disconnect. You know, yeah, 
Yeah. So um, I guess I'll go into the next question, which is a little unrelated, but um, how often does the technology change in software development? And how often do you have to learn new tools and capabilities? Uh, the technology changes uh, every time, <laughs> constantly. Um, new and new are coming. And if you, ha if you want to be... Um, Uh, if you want to be, let's say, updated at the end, if you want to be in stream, you have to study constantly. Um, I find uh, I find out a lot of things every day, especially when uh, I attended some uh, conferences. Uh, a lot of companies coming with new technologies, NFC, I don't know, uh, different stuff appearing and uh, it's actually great because uh, when you get back home um, you have uh, opportunity to read about it you know uh, for example our company um, we always have uh, some tech talks uh, several times per month uh, so our cto uh, he chooses uh, some uh, relevant um topics regarding security, I don't know, regarding some new tool, uh, whatever. And uh, I like um, it much, actually. It's very useful and it, uh, it allows you to develop yourself, actually. Yeah, yeah, they say, like, you know, if you have a slow period at work, um, which we do have sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> don't don't just sit there and then look at your phone like um, start reading about technology like for, for me I, i'm a database guy so that means power bi ssrs um click um you know i mean there used to be mcsa for sql server but like they, they took it away now now it's all azure or amazon web services so <laughs> So read about that. It's free. All, all, all of those websites like Microsoft, you know, um, like Amazon's training website, um, Click's training website, it's all free except for the certification. So that, that's very good. Um, sometimes it's hard because once you get home, like you really don't want to read anything. But yeah. Um, uh, again, uh, yeah, absolutely. But again, for example, engineers, yeah, I see how patient they are to study and, and to try new technologies, some new frameworks, some new solutions. And uh, they always uh, want um, to work with the most modern things. Um, so they are constantly in the process of uh, studying something new. Yeah, yeah, I want to work with new things too, but they they just make me be their T SQL guy because because the the IT background people that don't have like uh, I work in financial services they don't have servicing in financial services experience they don't understand like you know loans but I do so I do the queries but then um like I don't understand the IT like like really complicated things like loops and the cursors. So, uh, so yeah, um, I still have to learn. Uh, that'll bring me into my next question. Um, what does uh, your company particularly provide that like separates it from the rest of the industry? And can you go over more about like, you know, what you guys are working on right now? <laughs> uh, so we provide software development and uh, consulting. Uh, and what we work on now, it's actually, we have a lot of projects and development now, we have more than 50. Um, and it's, it's actually absolutely different uh, applications, um, websites. Uh, so one of the, our like bigger, biggest project, it's social media. It will be uh, some kind of um, uh, event calendar like uh, combination between Instagram, uh, a calendar from your phone, and Twitter. Uh, so a really cool idea. Um, 
when you click, for example, on some date, you will see all your um, events that surrounded you. You will have opportunity to click on this event to see uh, what people will attend it. Uh, you will see their contacts. You will be able to communicate with them. You can, I don't know, sit at the table and communicate with the person who is uh, sitting, uh, I don't know, in the... Uh, uh, near the in, in near the table so um so actually uh, great great projects a lot of them under in the uh but uh, we are excited actually to work on them unfortunately i i can share a lot of details of them because they are still not on the market um but I hope to see them shortly. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm sure it's a little confidential at some points, but um, no, that's, no that, that probably you know I understand now. What, you know, you guys uh, probably work on a lot of like things that take a lot of talent to create. You know, especially with like mobile app development and uh, like you know, especially like Apple software or Android system software. So no, that's, that's very interesting to me. Um, I, I I I told you guys this would be a very good episode. So, um, yeah, did I, yeah, did I say that? No, it's going to be a very good episode. Um, so um, I would say um, she shared, um, you know, uh, Maria shared a lot about herself, her company, what she does, and some you know educational topics. I think we can close out for the night. Uh, so Maria, like uh, you, know, I wanted to thank you for coming on, and uh, this has been an episode of Tech Talk with uh, Mansur Ahmad, MSACC, and I'm going to wish all of you a good night. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.